Got a package here from Caviezo Outdoors, um, and this is uh, something that I'm excited to to get. Uh, got two of them that they're, they're the same thing. Let's see, does it say on the outside of the package here? Yeah, so these are from Drop, uh, or Mass Drop. This is the Terzuola Cyrus CF, CF for carbon fiber. Now, I know that a lot of people pronounce the guy's name Terzola or Terzula, uh, and I'm not even sure that that's not an acceptable pronunciation, but I know that I saw him in a video introducing himself, and he said his name was Terzu Robert Terzuola. So that's, I'm trying to say it the same way he said it. Uh, Bob Terzuola, of course, is um, a well-known knife designer. Uh, probably best known for the ATCF, which is a drop point uh, tactical folder, uh, liner lock. Uh, this is a different design, uh, different, different blade profile. This is... A Persian blade. Yeah. All right, so we have a little bit of contour. It's not quite flat. Marbled carbon fiber. Really nice looking marbled carbon fiber. Blue titanium liners. Uh, a milled titanium pocket clip with hidden hardware, ball bearings in the flipper, there's Terzuola's maker's mark with the dragon head, nothing on this side of the blade, and I don't know if it says anywhere, but, oh there it does. This is S35VN steel. So it's particle metallurgy steel from Crucible in the US. In the US. Um, and these are, the OEM on these is Wee Knives. So these are made in China by Wee Knives uh, to a very high standard of quality for mass drop. Um, I have the other another version of this knife, which is this one. Uh, this is red carbon fiber. Coral is the color they call this. And it's got a different blade finish. This has got a dark stonewashed finish, which I quite like. And uh, these are titanium uh, liners and pocket clip as well, but it's bronze anodized instead of blue. And this version is a little bit less expensive than the, uh, the carbon fiber version with its satin blade finish. Okay. And so this is a uh, Persian style blade named, it's called the Cyrus, presumably after King Cyrus uh, of Persia. Um, the uh, Persian blade design is upswept, uh, and it has a trailing tip. Uh, not everything that's upswept has a trailing tip, interestingly enough, like this Spidey Chef, right? This is an upswept spine, but then it has a drop at the tip. Uh, so this is not a Persian profile, but it, it is an upswept blade. Um, do you see stuff like this uh, Spiderco Tropin that qualifies, even though this does have a tiny bit of drop at the end there. The tip of the blade is still higher than the back uh, of the handle, so it's a trailing tip, right? But of all these designs, the most 
traditional looking one is this one, the, the Terzuola. Uh, I have somewhere a fixed blade from Syria, uh, which of course is not Persia. Per Persia is basically modern day Iran, uh, Iran. But uh, same same aesthetic, right? I have a fixed blade uh, knife somewhere which I did not dig out to to show you in this video, unfortunately, uh, which is very traditional, and it looks a heck of a lot like this, except the ratio of handle to blade is different, and it's got more blade relative to the length of the handle. Um, but, um, yeah, this is very much a uh, classical Persian-style blade. A uh, couple size comparisons real quick. Um, just so you get a sense of scale for this thing. Uh, here it is next to uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and a Para 3. Okay. Uh, oops, let's get that lined up a little better. Okay. So bigger than the Para 3, a little smaller than the PM2, but a lot of belly. So in terms of linear edge, it's probably about the same. Um, and what else should I show you? Uh, how about a, uh, excuse me for the bump there. How about a rat one and rat two? There we go. Here's here's the Ontario Rat Model One and the Rat Model Two for size comparison. Okay, and here's a good old Griptilian. Um, so I think that's enough size comparison. And in all in all the cases, uh, this blade has more belly. So even though it's only about three and a quarter, three and a third inches long uh, down the center, it, it's going to have more like three and a half inches of linear edge because of how much the blade curves. So that's sort of a neat feature of this blade profile. Uh, ergos on it, excellent. I wear size XL gloves and where the handle starts to rise back here, I still have plenty of room between the uh, flipper tab that's acting like a hilt and the uh, sort of rising butt end of this knife. Uh, no jimping. Uh, except for a little bit on the liner lock there and on the flipper tab. A few, just two lines of jimping on the flipper tab. But you do get a little bit of retention from that even in an open position. And this would be comfortable in a reverse grip. All right, well, this is not a full review, just an unboxing and some size comparisons. But uh, there we have it, the, uh, the Terzuola Cyrus from Drop. Both versions there. There are actually a, a couple of other versions, but no longer available. Uh, and these are in somewhat short supply. Uh, Caviso is one place you might find them, and then Blade HQ is another U.S. retailer that carries these. Okay, thank you.